first time I walked onto this stage, it felt like a new beginning for me. And you just brought tears to my eyes with that performance. I feel like you flipped your heart inside out for us. My big break happened when I was just a pup. And I never really got a say in defining who I was. I spent years trying to live up to everyone else's idea of who I should be. And although I've fought hard to forge my own path, it's been impossible to change the way people see me. Until now. Here, I've been given the most amazing opportunity to break that mold. Reinvention. Reinvention, yes. Yeah. And winning this would show everyone who's ever underestimated me that I'm capable of so much more than they or even I thought I was. I don't want it to be the last performance. I was born in a thunderstorm. I grew up overnight. I played alone, I played all my own, I survived. I had a one way ticket to a place where all the demons go, where the wind don't change, nothing in the ground can ever grow. No hope just lies, and you're taught to cry, and you're alone, but I survived. I'm still free. I'm so breathing, I'm so breathing, I'm so breathing, I'm alive, 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 Single mistake that you could ever possibly make. I knew what I wanted, I went out and got it. Did all the things that you said that I wouldn't. Told you that I would never be forgotten. And now it's about you. What a voice. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing. First time you sang, I said that you were the strongest vocalist this season. I said, you're going to go to the finals. You are in the finals. You did not disappoint. Killed it. I'm just really, really grateful right now. I'm often my own worst enemy. And like most of us, I'm finding my true voice. But this experience has brought me so much closer to that. I feel like I've already won. Yeah. We are grateful to have you, Rottweiler. Now, panel, after everything you've learned this season about the Rottweiler, it's your last shot. Are you guys picking up on any more clues? Putting the clues together from the past, we saw 30 seconds, a lot of zen, meditation. So I was thinking maybe Jared Leto. I mean, he's from 30 seconds to Mars. But he also said unconventional route to stardom. And, um... I felt like I recognized some of the tone. So I'm going to go still with Daring Chris. I agree with you, Nicole. It is not Daring Chris. Guys, <laughs> I know exactly who this is. 
because of his incredible range. To me, it's like the stage presence of an actor and the voice of a singer. So who I think it is, a friend of mine, he is married to my good friend, Allison Bree of Community. He sounds like an angel. Dave Franco, welcome to The Masked Singer. You know what, Nick? Ken's wrong again. I know exactly <laughs> who this is. Who is it, Jenny? There's an artist by the name of Arnel Panetta. One of the guesses I had last week. The only thing that would make me doubt myself is that he's a little bit older than I think this dog is. So there is an artist out there that has a beautiful voice, one that to me compares to that, Jason Mraz. Right? Thank you, audience member. Wow. Go, Jenny. Go, Jenny. All right, all right. Well, one thing we do know, this was an amazing performance for an amazing finale. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Rottweiler. Oh, I'm dying to know who this is. Everyone is killing it. This finale is just too isn't much. It, isn't it? It's overwhelming. Okay, so Fox and Rottweiler, here's what's going to happen. Nick's going to bring us back. He's going to essentially go to who the winner is. Oh, gosh. Man, you're going to find out who the winner is. Crazy. Ah, uh, look at that. Aww. Well, they're related species, dog and fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is it. We're about to reveal the winner of the Mass Singer. Who will take home the golden mask? Will it be the fox? Or the Rottweiler? The winner of this season's Golden Mask is... I'm scared. Oh, man. The Fox! <laughs> for our runner-up, the Rottweiler. Now, panel, this has been a long journey. But before we go any further, who on earth do you think the Rottweiler is? Well, honestly, this is one of the best voices we've ever had on this show. Yes. Originally, he gave me more rock alternative vibes. I thought you were someone from Fall Out Boy, Patrick Stump, yep. or um, from Incubus. But in the clue package, it started to talk about makeup. And I know that this person wore makeup at the Met Ball and recently got married. So I'm going to go with Darren Chris. That's a good one. Yeah, I agree with Nicole. I think the very first performance, he has such a great range. The way he moved, he had swag. And so I was thinking it was from a boy band, maybe somebody like Brian Luttrell of the Backstreet Boys. But then we got into the musical theater and we heard more songs. I think it's Darren Chris, very talented young man. Okay. Dog, you've had me all over the place because when you first came out the first time, I was like, oh, Robin, this is like an R&B guy. Listen to that voice. Then the next week I was like, oh, Robin, this is definitely a boy bander. <laughs> but based off of your amazing vocal ability, I kept thinking, like, who can sing like that? And for some reason, I flashed to Jason Mraz. All right, that's a good guess. Good thank guess. you, thank you. That's good. Wow. Uh oh, he's already standing, Dr. Ken. All right, we've been through a long and winding journey with the Rottweiler. We've gone from boy banders in the very beginning, and then my favorite guess, Bow Wow. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I think it's someone who is known for one thing and is freeing to be something else. So right now, I'm going with a friend of mine, Dave Franco. 
He's of a similar build. He's not known as a singer, but has an amazing voice. So I think I'm right. Well, you never know. All right, well, we have you all on record. So it's time to see if any of you are right. Rottweiler, show the world who is behind the mask. Take it off. 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 What in the world made you do this show? Man, I wanted to do something fun. I wanted to challenge myself. Saw it last year when T-Pain won. I was like, oh, I just want to do this. That looks like so much fun. Oh, man. I had no idea how challenging it was going to be. I'm so happy I did it. And my kids have no idea I'm doing this. So I'm so pumped for them to see this. Oh. Look how cool yeah. dad is. He's a Rottweiler. I'm so happy you did this show because we all know that you have an unbelievable voice. You blew us out of the water week Ooh, after week. Out. This is crazy. Now, to sing for us one last time, unmask the phenomenal Chris Daughtry. I was bitten by a Rottweiler when I was like 15 years old. I just wanted to have some fun. I just wanted to do something very different than what I've ever done before. And then it started getting closer and closer and I just wanted to, to get to the finale. So it meant so much to, to make it this far and I'm very happy with the whole journey. I am so blown away, I'm still standing. I mean, that was by far the best performance of the entire show. I had no idea how difficult it was gonna be. I know what I'm capable of with, with dancing, with singing, and I had no idea how difficult all of that was going to be once you put the costume on. It was extremely challenging. There was a lot of challenges that start to get in your head and start to maybe send you in a downward spiral and you have to kind of like snap out of it. I think it's made me very aware that I'm capable of so much more. I'm capable of, of doing more in my own performances. I'm capable of the things that I thought were too difficult. I feel like it's just given me a, a better sense of self awareness, more uh, belief in myself. Your compliments are so amazing. I feel like they're directed to someone better than me. This whole experience has helped me to believe in myself more than I ever have, so wow. thank you. Aww. I'm so grateful. Oh, we love you. You so deserve it, dog. The anonymity part was uh, so fun. Being anonymous and just getting to go out and perform without worrying about what they think I'm doing based on who they think I am, based on who they think I should be or how I should be performing. That was uh, very liberating for me. I was bitten by a Rottweiler when I was like 15 years old. It snapped and bit my leg, and I was terrified of Rottweilers ever since. Kind of like Batman was afraid of bats, so he became Batman. <laughs> I became the Rottweiler, yeah. Billy Joel Armstrong, welcome to the Masked Singer. Yeah. Darren Chris. Gavin Rossdale. Well, he's not Joe McHale because he's humble. Ah. Wow. We know it's not Ken Jeong because he works out. So. <laughs> I felt very alive during this whole process. I felt very present. I felt very challenged. And it just made me feel, for lack of better terms, it made me feel alive. And I thought that song really summed up the entire process for me. I have right? to take a breath for that one because I think it's the most vulnerable an honest performance you've ever given, one of the most vulnerable and honest performances we've seen on that stage. And you just brought tears to my eyes. It was just, I feel like you flipped your heart inside out for us, and you just bared it all. I feel like this is like my, my spirit animal now. I'm gonna miss you, buddy. You, you did all right, you did all right. He's so cute. I don't get to see what you guys see. 
open mouth, non-expressive face. I miss you, bud. Thank you for all the support. Thanks for the love. Thanks for cheering me on the whole way. I uh, hope to see you guys out on the road.